All right, what's up, guys? Welcome Friday night. Uh, Top Heritage four box break number nine. This is the last four boxes of the case. It was the all right, the right side of the case. All right, there they are. Hopefully, some good stuff in here. All right, everybody, uh, here are your teams. Uh, we got the Mystery Redemption spot on eBay. That's uh, on the bottom there. That also includes all the uh, all the non-team cards, like the Flashback, the Beatles, and Jimi Hendrix cards. Um, anything without a team. Uh, it's really tough to get, but they have the Celebrity Autos. You could get, like, uh, an Aretha Franklin Auto. I'm sure there's some other good ones on the list, but... It's like one in every 400 and something thousand packs. So they're really tough to get the celebrity autos, but they could pop up. Yeah, we've hit uh, tougher odds than that, so. Oh, is it an echo? Let me check. Hold up. Let me just finish showing you this. Yeah, let me check my YouTube. What's up, TCB? All right, let me just check it on my phone. Are you getting an echo? It sounds alright on my end. Uh, anybody else have an echo? Yeah, maybe refresh the page, uh, TCB. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta, you know, just reboot. Maybe something going on with the Wi-Fi or something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm live. What's up? I'm live. What happened? Go ahead. It's all right. What do you need? You're live. Yes. What do you need? Plans we're gonna have a Dungeons and Dragons session at Ash's house. Awesome. At ten. At ten. Ten a.m. Ten a.m. All right. Just wake me up. I'll probably be up. Okay. I'm sorry for interrupting you. It's okay. Thank you, honey. I'll see you later. All right, guys, here we go. Box one, good luck. This is break nine. Uh, break ten will be a fresh case. Uh, three more breaks tonight, so we'll go through a whole case. Uh, spots on eBay now for that. Hey, what's up, Chris? Good luck. Yeah, Angels have had some nice hits. Angels, Astros, Cubs. Yeah, a lot of teams have been doing really good. But uh, every team has potential for some nice uh, variation. But uh, what we hit the Mike Trout. We hit the Mike Trout kid nickname card. That was a re that's a couple hundred dollar uh, variation. The nickname one. And uh, yeah, I love those action variations. The color swaps. They're all really cool and pretty valuable. All right, we got a Chris Bryant. That's our top loader. Our uh, box loader. These are the super cards. It's a jumbo style. Congrats to the Cubs, Viking Stone. All right, all card ship. It's like uh, 900 cards or so in the four boxes, something like that. All right, good luck with your Yanks, Ken. And good luck, T. You got a bunch of teams. All right, here we go, guys. Yeah, well, this is a really fun pro. I love what they did with it this year. We're not just searching for big rookies. Looking for all those crazy variations. All right, so the base cards are the 1970 style. Really awesome. And then the fifth card in every pack is the... Uh, is where the insert or the variation or the hit will be. Oh, we got an Aaron Judge. 
All right, Iron Judge short print. So all the cards numbered from uh, 401 to 500 are the short prints. And sometimes you turn it over and you'll see like French writing. Those are uh, a good variation to get. There's like two of those French cards in every case. But uh, even the regular short prints on the players are nice. So the Iron Judge is a big one. There you go, Ken. Good start. Yeah, you've been going pretty hard, Toby. It's good that last night you got some really nice stuff. Hopefully tonight. I really want to hit that throwback variation for someone. Alright, Hank Aaron flashbacks. Alright, we got John Lester Clubhouse Collection uh, game used memorabilia jersey. Congrats to the Cubs, Viking Stone. Alright, so you get the one auto or relic in every box, uh, but so much more to look for. I would always, uh, I'd look forward to all the variations when I would open up my personal boxes. Uh, but the orders, and uh, sometimes you get like a, they have a really nice checklist on like double relics, triple relics, a lot of old school names, you know, Hall of Famers and stuff, and those uh, autos are amazing too, you only get like three autos in every case, but uh, very legitimate autos, oh, we got Edwin Diaz, alright, Edwin Diaz, short print for the Mets, one of the big contributions to the Mets this year. Uh, what's up, William? Yeah, we hit one silver medal. Uh, I think it was the first or second break. Our first case it was in. That was a really nice one. I forgot what player it was, too. Do you guys remember what player it was? All right, no short print in that one. Oh, do they have the coin cards in this also? Like the nickels and the quarters. I know they used to have them. I'm sure they got them this year. All right, Jesus Aguilar, that's a short print. Card 476. Yeah, those are nice. Uh, the throwback, that's, you know, every year, I usually hit one out of, like, the eight or ten cases I get. Those are worth big money. Those could be worth, like, four, five, six hundred bucks. Uh, J.D. Martinez, New Age Performers. Uh, but, yeah, a lot of stuff. If you look at the back of the pack, it shows all the crazy stuff you could get. Yeah, they have a special Milwaukee uh, Brewers, the inaugural season, so I guess the Brewers started in 1970. So I think last year they did the Seattle Pilots, so they probably moved to Milwaukee right after that. And they have, uh, yeah, triple autos, dual autograph patches, celebrities, uh, so much stuff. All right, David Dahl, is that a base? Yep, that's a base card. Oh, and the stamps also. All right, Chris Sell. Uh, short print card 464 for the Red Sox.
All right, AJ Minter. That's a base card. Yeah, if two, three packs, like, won't have a short print in it. Or, like, an insert or something. Most of the packs have something in the fifth spot. All right, Trevor Bauer, short print. All right, then and now, Seaver and Scherzer. So at the end, we'll uh, roll the dice to see if the uh, left side or the right side will get those. And then all these cards with the leaders on them, I just split them up evenly. A lot of them, there's doubles and triples of. And and they have uh, yeah, batting average leaders, strikeout leaders, um, ERA leaders, all different leaders. There's like six different leaders or something for the National and American. So I just split them up evenly. If anybody really needs them for their set or something, let me know. I'll try to get uh, the certain card you need over. Uh, Urias rookie card. That's a good rookie. Jose Ramirez, New Age Performers insert. What the snow? Blake Snow. Uh, that's a short print card for 11. Cy Young winner. Look at the back of that, man. Love those. Just like 1970. We pulled one of those uh, 1970 Sporting News, and yeah, the back looked just like that. They did a great job front and back on this set, man. All right, Kyle Tucker, rookie. The big ones to hit are the ones where he's alone. That's the uh, rookie action variation. But the base ones, uh, you know, it's a double or triple player card. Trevor Story, New Age. Corbin Burns. Oh, nice Corbin Burns action card. So that's like the rookie I was talking about. The rookie cards that they're by themselves. Those are the short prints. Those are really nice. All right, Milwaukee Brewers. See, it says action under the uh, 393. Uh, Brew Crew, TCB, congrats. Yeah, we usually get like one or two of the action in every break, so yeah, there's like four or five of them in every case. RBI leaders. Uh, Jake Arrieta is a short print for the Phillies. Uh, Yelich, New Age Performer. Well, let's see what this is. Is that a short print? Oh, we got a French back, Stalin Castro. Congrats to the Marlins. Very nice for the Marlins. You'll see the back of that card. It's got the French text under the uh, English writing. All right, congrats. These are nice. These are like uh, two in every case or something. Yeah, about two per case. Uh, G. Seth, congrats.
All right, nice sharp card. All right, so we're getting some variations. Every box usually a couple of variations. Home run leaders. There's Mookie. Uh, Max Scherzer's a short print. Card 454. And you got the Scherzer Sporting News. This is cool when Puig's fly. Uh, Jeff McNeil, rookie. Call you Strumsky. That's yes. Yeah, flashbacks. Uh, Giolito's a base card. All right, two more packs in box one. Richard Nixon and Elvis Presley. So these cards will go to the uh, mystery spot. That'll go for every break up till break 24. So if you win the mystery spot as a bonus, you'll get all the non-team cards. And there's some big stuff you could get. Uh, like those celebrity autos. I got to check out that celebrity checklist. The only one I heard so far, Aretha Franklin's on the list. I'm sure that's worth some money. Ah, nice, Toby. Yeah, I'll be watching that soon, man. Thank you. That should be a cool movie. Uh, batting leaders. Look at the Red Sox go. And scratch uh, Paul Goldschmidt for the D-backs. These are cool. It's a little game you play. Uh, one per box on these. Uh, Matt, there you go. Pretty cool. I like those. Yeah, Tony gave me one of them yesterday. I started uh, playing the game. So you scratch it until you get three out. So I got a home run at least. So you keep scoring the back. So I got uh, one already. Later on tonight, I'll do the uh, second round. And we'll see if... Uh, I'm only playing against myself. but <laughs> Still fun. All right, guys. Box two... Oh, you sent the uh, celebrity ones? What's the biggest one, you think, Toby? All right, Super Baseball Box Loader. Let's see what we got. All right, Al Kaline. That's a cool one. Very cool, man. Old school vintage look. Detroit Tigers. Uh, CGM Extreme. So we got Brian and K-Line. Alright guys, box two, good luck. Yeah, that K-Line one looks great. All right, Encarnacion. That's a short print card, 447. Mookie Betts, New Age. See, there's the Yankee rookies this year. I mean, uh, Rocky rookies, Yankees. I saw the pinstripes.
right, that's a base card in the five spot. Ah, <laughs> David Cassidy. <laughs> Uh, Mancini short print for the Orioles. Frick has a cut. Frick, Frick. Who's Frick? Frick from Frickin' Frack. Unless that's uh, a nickname for somebody. Frick. All right, Bob Gibson flashbacks. Oh, my boy Thor. I'm pretty sure he's usually got like a double auto with like Seaver or somebody. That'd be pretty cool to hit. Uh, German Marquez, that's base. Yeah, if I don't see a short print on the back of the fifth card, I'll look at the back and um, see if it's got the French text or something on it. So you never know. Uh, you check the codes on the bottom. That's how I could tell for sure. Uh, strikeout leaders. All right, Miguel Andujar, that's a short print. Card 473. That's a good one for the Yanks. What a rookie year he had. He could have easily been the uh, AL Rookie of the Year. But Otani was just too intriguing with uh, you know, pitching and hitting. Even though it was not all year, it was still enough to get him. Uh, Ford Freak. Yeah, sorry, I have no clue who that is, T. Ford Frick. Uh, Palmer and Snell. Home Run Leaders. And we got a Blake Snell Chrome card. All right, those are numbered to nine ninety nine. Yep, two forty out of nine ninety nine for the Rays. Xander. All right, that's a short print for the Red Sox. Xander Bogarts. Kopech rookie card. We had a nice Kopech auto last night. One of the top rookies this year. ERA leaders. Uh, Shohei Otani, New Age Performers. Ah, baseball commissioner, gotcha. Yeah, it sounded familiar. I just couldn't place it, T. The one commissioner I always remember is uh, Bart Giamani. Sad how he passed away from, uh, what was it, cancer, I believe. No short prints there. ERA leaders for the National League. Uh, Eric Thames, Korean Babe Ruth. Short print card number 496.
All right, next hit, Jose Ramirez for the Indians. Uh, Clubhouse Collection, game used jersey. Nice red swatch. Congrats to the Indians. Um, K-E-J-U-S, congrats. All right, now let's fish for some variations. Oh, uh, did he kick Rose out? Oh, was Bart the one that kicked out Rose? It was in his reign. Ah, uh, Eugenio Suarez, short print for the Reds. Lindor, New Age. Brendan Nimmo. Uh, that's a short print for the Mets. Card 431. The Aaron Judge cartoon. Arenado New Age. Another Kyle Tucker rookie. And Luis Urias, very nice. Is that the action? Yep, nice rookie action short print. Congrats to the Padres. Very good one there. One of the top rookies this year. Uh, Toby, congrats, man. That's a good one. And he's very talented, man. Yeah, there's been a lot of hype in the minors with him. I think he's pretty fast. Got a little pop. Beautiful card. Let's see, that code is 24. Let me see the burns. Yep, the burns is 24 also. So yeah, Kyle Tucker, Kopech, Urias. Those are like the big three. Um, I'm sure Jeff McNeil for the Mets also has a rookie short print as well. And if the Mets get off to a nice start and they're yeah, when the Mets play good, their value rise is so good. Any uh like big city team that performs all their rookies uh you know, if he plays good, his value will definitely go up, man. It's a lot tougher in a smaller market team. All right, Gene Segura, that's a short print. But if you know if a player is that good though, uh, even if they're playing in KC or something, their you know their value will be up. It's just a lot harder. But if you could do it on the big stage, everybody's gonna see it. Ah, uh, we got Tom Seaver flashbacks. Like Whit Merrifield, he had some really good value. He's playing in KC. They love him over there. Alright, Steven Souza. That's a base card. Alright, two packs left in box two. Alright, 
All right, flashbacks. Uh, Diana Ross and the Supremes final concert. Pretty cool. All right, and our scratch off. Chris Davis for the A's. Congrats, Oakland. Uh, Jordan James, that's your scratch off. All right, guys, box three. Let's check out the box loader. It can be a, uh, the tough ones to get are the Topps teammates. That's like employees at Topps. They made special, uh, you know, they're probably like the same size as these uh, super cards. And then uh, the posters. Posters are the way to go. Those are the big ones. All right, we got another super baseball. Most of them are going to be the super baseball or the... Uh, 19 city original cards and we got oh brooks robinson another uh, vintage congrats to the orioles uh stork 70 they called him the vacuum cleaner man you didn't want to hit the ball in his direction Oh, uh, nothing for McNeil. Ah, uh, they didn't really make one for him. Yeah, I wonder why, man. McNeil was worthy of getting a SP. He batted like 330 in like 60-something games, you know. RBI leaders. Albert Pujols, that's a short print. Card 422 for the Angels. Alright, looks like a black border coming up. These are the ones uh, short printed to 50. There's RBI leaders. Alright, Jose Ramirez for the Indians. Nice black border. Uh, K-E-J-U-S, congrats. Superstar Jose Ramirez. Him and Lindor's quite a one-two punch. They're like fantasy dreams, man, on everybody's fantasy team. Uh, yeah, they're both like top ten fantasy picks, man. That's great to have on the same team. You know, a good mix of speed and power. Um, yeah, it sucks they don't show the stolen bases on the back of the... That should always be on the back of the cards, man. I mean, they showed the triples, you could see, but... Alright, Zach Greinke. That's a short print card, 442. What's up, TCB? Um, yeah, Neshek is a collector. I was just reading in one of my magazines. Uh, he pulled the Red Ink Otani from last year's Heritage. And he sold it on eBay for like 5000 bucks. But he was talking about how he regretted that. But yeah, I love hearing uh, baseball players collecting cards, man. I love that. There's a few of them. I'm sure there's more that just aren't public about it, though. All right, no short print there. Yeah, and the shades looks cool on that card. That sticks out. I'm sure we'll hit another one. You'll see it. Strikeout leaders. And we got a Freddie Freeman. Card 489. That's a short print.
All right, still a few teams left on eBay for break 10. Probably like the Blue Jays, Rangers, Nationals, the end of the alphabet. And then there's still a uh, break 11 and 12 tonight also. That's all going to be from a fresh case. So break 10 will be the fresh case we open. There's another Urias. All right, Apollo 13 flashbacks. Aborted mission. So anybody who wins the Mystery Redemption spot on eBay will also get the non-team non cards. Any team, yeah, any card uh, that doesn't belong to a team will go to you. So the celebrities, the flashbacks, and of course if we pull the Mystery Redemption, I'd love to hit one of those now. Alright, Joe Torre flashbacks. We had a nice Joe Torre uh, red ink auto the first night we broke this on Wednesday night. Piscotti, is that a short print? Yep, card 434. Uh, Walker Bueller, New Age Performers, and his boy Kershaw right behind them. Batting leaders, uh, Justin Turner, that's a base card. All right, looks like another hit coming. All right, uh, St. Louis Cardinals, Miles Mikolas Clubhouse Collection. Uh, G87ND, congrats, game use memorabilia, very good pitcher, man, one of the best in the game, Miles Mikolas. Uh, Yonder Alonso short print, card 497. Uh, Max Scherzer, New Age. Jose Abreu, card 483, short print. So a couple for the White Sox in a row. Chris Davis, New Age. Jordan Hicks short print. Oh, that's the other Astros rookies. Home run leaders. Oh, Jacob DeGrom, New Age Performers. Oh, and the runner up to the Cy Young right behind him. He looks mad. Ah, uh, there's Jeff McNeil.
Jed Jerko is a base card. All right, Jose Altuve. That's a short print card number 409 for the Astros. That's a cool picture. All right, first women promoted to U.S. Army Generals. News flashbacks going to the uh, mystery spot. Batting leaders. Pitching leaders. All right, World Series champions, Red Sox. Cool celebration photo. All right, Seaver and DeGrom, then and now for the Mets. All right, last pack of box three. Going to have that scratch-off card in there. All right, Lorenzo Kane for the Brewers. Congrats, Brewers, uh, TCB. All right, guys, one more box. All right, good timing. Yeah, last night eBay was doing a maintenance thing, and I couldn't uh, log on to eBay and, like, send invoices. Uh, it was, like, the third break of the night that it jammed us up on, so that backed us up, man. But uh, tonight should run smooth. I don't think they're going to do two maintenance checks in a row. Yeah, I couldn't even get onto the page where it said, like, sold items, so I couldn't even, like, make a break sheet. I had to go into my emails, because everything that gets sold on eBay, I get, like, an email. Uh, so I went to my Gmail to do, like, the checklist, the uh, break sheet. But I had to go one by one. And yeah, just back this up a little. Tonight, uh, good timing so far. Oh, Tommy Super. That's a nice one for the Angels. Uh, CGM, there you go, Chris. Beautiful card. All right, Ozzy Albies. Uh, card 436, that's a short print. Nice one for the Braves. ERA leaders for the National League. All right. Uh, yeah, I think just the Nationals and the Mystery Spot are left on eBay for the next break. I'm going to send out invoices right after this break, about 10 minutes or so. So if you got more than one team, please wait for an updated invoice so I can take the shipping off. Or combine the shipping. Ooh, Ronald Acuna. That's a monster. Acuna action card. Very nice. Congrats to the Braves. CGM Extreme. Beautiful. These are awesome, man. I remember those 2015 Chris Bryant action rookie cards from the high numbers set. One of my favorite cards of all time, like modern cards. Mm -hmm. That's sick. I'm gonna put that in the mag. Nice, Chris. Yeah, that's the play. That's uh, probably the most expensive action card you could get there. Acuna just has some...
crazy hobby uh hobby value a lot more than all the other guys there's a lot that are close to them like the sotos and uh Otani and Glaber and them, but Acuna I think is the king of the hobby right now. Yep, card number 500. That's the last one on the short print list. They gave him a special spot there. These were selling for like a hundred dollars, like the first night. People always pay a little more than. I think they're probably still worth about a hundred or so, ninety. I'm not sure I don't sell cards on eBay anymore, but this is a good one. No, he wasn't saying $500, so be saying it's card number 500. Card number 500, he meant. Beautiful card, though, wow. And if you're a Braves fan, even uh, just a beautiful card to have in your PC. But the value is there if you want to sell it. And if you grade it, yeah, that's... Let's see. Yeah, it looks sharp, man. It's definitely grade worthy. You'll probably gem that up. Increase the value. But even uh, selling it raw has got some good value. I remember the Bryant's raw I was getting like $100 for in 2015. So I think it's similar to something like that. And then if it grades like a gem min, I don't know, what would you get, like $50 more or something, or double your money? Ahmed Rosario, uh, short print for the Mets. Like, if he has a big year and the Mets are doing good, his, uh, his stock's going to go up a lot. Because he's exciting, man. He's got some crazy speed. If he puts it all together, he could be one of the hobby superstars, man. But the Mets have to play good. Pitchers have to stay healthy. They got to do their thing like they did in 2016. Oh, uh, one more shot. Baseball flashbacks. But no, it's definitely worth more than 50 bucks. I think it was 100 Unless it went down since a couple days ago. All right, Odubel, short print card, 488. He's got potential to become a superstar too, man. He had that crazy hit streak, and then uh, so many rookies doing good last year. His uh, And then he was slumping for a little, so he kind of fell off a bit. At the beginning of last year, he was like one of the hottest names. Kept that streak going. Casey Kasem in the American Top 40 started in 1970. That's a cool card. Looks like uh, Apollo Creed's hat. So that'll go to the mystery spot. Yeah, is that the average 50? When I checked Wednesday, they were going for like 90, 90 to 100. So I don't know, probably 50, 75, who knows what they go for, but still a sweet card. All right, I see gold. These are nice and hand-numbered ones. Good luck, guys. All right, Matt Chapman, Oakland Athletics, 17 out of 99. That is the gold parallel clubhouse collection. Oak Town, Jordan James, congrats. Hand numbered 17 out of 99. Yeah, whoever numbers these heritage cards, it's got to be the same person. They all look the same. I wonder who's famous for that over there in the office. I'd love that job, just numbering cards all day. All right, congrats. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Sean Doolittle short print. All right, Mike Trout, New Age Performers. Pitching leaders. Uh, J.D. Martinez, that is card 475. That's a short print. Cooler New Age Performers. Hey, what's up, Ruben? Welcome, my friend. All right, no short print there. Check that out, Ruben. Such a beautiful card, man. I know you're a Philly fan, but something about these Heritage Action cards, it, they do it for me, man. The, uh, the team name color swaps. Those are tougher to get, but I like the actions better, man. They should have made the actions the uh, tougher ones to get. I mean, they're still pretty tough to get if you're looking for a certain player. Uh, strikeout leaders. Corey Kluber short print. Home run leaders. Labor, New Age. Kopech. ERA leaders. One, two, three, four. Oh, we got a George Springer short print. Card 407. How did Willie do last year? Not too good. Didn't play too many games. Yeah, he only played 13 games. There's Neshek with the shades. Yeah, Ruben, someone in the chat. If you look up in the chat, they were talking about Neshek. Uh, said there's a guy in the 70s, uh, Lowell Palmer, who used to wear the shades too on his cards. I'm sure you know who he is. Trevor Story, New Age Performers. Uh, 
All right, no short print there. One, two, three, five packs left. Good luck. The Aaron Judge Show. Be cool to have like a baseball cartoon for kids, kind of like the uh, Hulk, Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling cartoon. They should do something like that. That'd be pretty popular. Little cartoon Bryce Harpers and Aaron Judges. Uh, Kyle Tucker. Ooh, Alex Bregman. That's a short print, I believe. Yep, card 424. So Astro's getting Springer and Bregman. Oh, nice, Ruben. Congrats on that. I'm sure that's going to be sold out. Uh, tragedy, tragedy strikes Marshall football team. That was the plane crash in 1970. News flashbacks. Yeah, I saw the Phillies play opening day at uh, Shea Stadium back in uh, 2007. Yeah, 2007. That was great, man. I had my daughter. She was young, man. She was only like uh, like five years old, but she was screaming, Jimmy Rollins sucks right at him. <laughs> Not right at him. We were pretty high up, but it was cool, though. She'll remember that. That's like one of her earliest memories. She always remembers that. And starting like a wave, she remembers... All right, no short print there. Two backs left. Are you taking the twins, uh, Ruben? Or the boys? Are you just going, uh, keeping them out of it? Oh, uh, Johnny Bench and Arenado, then and now. All right, guys, last pack of break number nine. Break 10 coming up next. That's about 20 minutes away. All right, there's Burns. We got the Burns short print rookie card earlier. You'll see that in the recap. Robbie Cano. All right, Francisco Lindor for the Indians. Uh, K-E-J-U-S. Congrats. You got the scratch off. Team captain. All right, guys, uh, let's do a recap. Yeah, good timing. Next break will start on time. Uh, and all night should be like that, unless eBay throws a curveball at me with the maintenance. I doubt it. All right, so uh, anybody who's bidding on the mystery spot on eBay, um, you'll get all the non-team cards as well, like these, the American Top 40 and the... Uh, the Supremes and the Jimi Hendrix, the Elvis and Nixon cards, and if we hit some big cut, that's yours also, if it doesn't belong to a team. Like the non-sport cards. Okay, we got to... <clears throat> find the home for these cards. All right, we got these then and now cards. Uh, there was a couple that had the same team on them. Like there was a uh, DeGrom Seaver one, so that would just go to the Mets. But uh, a roll of dice odd, it'll go to the left team. Even, it'll go to the right. We got a Johnny Bench Arenado there. Palmer and Snell. Seaver and Scherzer. And if I missed any, uh, you know, it'll still be left side, right side on it. But I think those are the only three besides the ones that had the same team. And we got a three, if you could see that. Yeah, that's a three. So left side wins again. Left side always wins. All right, recap for break nine. Here we go. Uh, we got the scratch off booklets, one per box. Uh, Lindor for the Indians, Goldschmidt for the D-backs, Davis for the A's, and Lorenzo Cain for the Brewers.
All right, we got one black border card. These are like one in every three boxes or so. Uh, Jose Ramirez for the Indians. Uh, a lot of teams got short prints. I'm not going to recap every short print, but just a couple of the bigger ones that aren't the variations I'll show. All right, we got an Aaron Judge short print for the Yanks. And Andujar for the Yanks as well. And then there were a lot of other good players who Springer, Altuve, uh... Frankie Scherzer, Abreu, you know, really good checklist on those. All right, now the... Action variation cards. We got two rookie short print ones. Uh, Corbin Burns for the Brewers. That's the rookie card to get. You know, the one that's not with the, uh, you know, the two players on it. The single version. That's the short print. And a nice Luis Urias for the Padres. That's a good one. All right. We got a French text. These are about two per case, so this is really short printed. Uh, Starling Castro for the Marlins. It's got some French writing in the back. All right, we got a Blake Snell to 999. What the Snell is going on here? That's a chrome card. All right, we got our big action variation here. Ronald Acuna for the Braves. Beautiful card there. All right, and we got four jerseys. Uh, one of them is numbered. Here's the non-numbered ones. Clubhouse collection game used. Uh, Jose Ramirez for the Indians. Mikolas for the Cardinals. John Lester for the Cubs. And gold, 17 out of 99 hand-numbered. Matt Chapman for the A's. All right, uh, but all card ships, so you'll get every single card. Oh, we also had the uh, box loaders. We got four of the super cards, the jumbo version supers. Uh, Otani for the Angels. We got a nice Brooks Robinson for the Orioles. Uh, Al Kaline for the Tigers. And Chris Bryant for the Cubs. All right, guys, I'll be back in... About 15 to 20 minutes, we'll be back with break number 10. I'm sending out invoices now. Thank you, guys.